But before I start my talk, I would like to thank the first Synthesi and his team to give me this opportunity to share something that I've learned during sure. my professional uh, work. Um, that I think that that's something beneficial for you to know. So uh, that's why I'm here to share something about the work I do that um, You will find it beneficial, I, I hope. Um, uh, but before I start, I would like to just I like uh, to make a disclaimer that I, I'm whatever I'm sharing today is just my own view. I'm not representing any uh, my previous or, or current employer. Um, so to start, um, you know, um, I would like to start with a question first. You know. Uh, if I, I'm pretty sure most of you are homeowners, but I would like to know how many of you are homeowners. Can you raise your hand? All right, thanks. And I have one question. Do you know where is your, it's called lateral, but it's a sewer system that comes out from your house? Does anybody know? What was the question? A sewer that comes out of your house. Do you know where is that located in your house? Sewer system. Yeah, we have sewer system. I know, but do you know where, where is that, that sewer system that comes out of the house? The is located? Not the, that's the that's the treatment, that's the treatment with what you know, but from your house, you know, where is the sewer line located in your house? Is it the septic tank? No. No, it's not a septic tank, because in urban area, I, you know, there are a lot of septic tank system. Uh, we are certified as standard sewer system. But my question is, does anyone of you know where is the sewer line that come, collects the sewer from your house, connects to the main? To so the manhole? Yeah, to the manhole or, or to the sewer system. Well, we, we do see the big patch going in and out. Um, those are, you know, there's, there's one outside that we can open up and then yeah. something is stuck with them. That's good, yeah. That's what I'm, I'm expecting to hear from. Um, yes, that's correct. Um, you know, every house we, you know, the, we have this sink and uh, bathtub and, uh, and drains, you know, all those are the, the outlet point where, you know, we, discard our wastewater from the house and it gets collected through the system called, through the conduit called lateral, which is the piece of sewer line that is running on your property and that connects either to the sewer manhole or the sewer main. And it is important, like, like you know, that if you have a house, you, it's important to know where is the what a shut off valve is in case of emergency to shut off the valve. Same thing, the electrical shut off line that we need to know. The same thing, it's important because there can be some emergency situation of, you know, they can see a line clogged or, you know, the train can clog and then you need to know where is that clean out is located to flush your system, right? Uh, but it's not something you do, but sometimes it's good to know. Uh, you definitely need to have a pump to unplug the, you know, the drain, the, the sewer line. So that's that's what uh, you know. I give uh, advice to get familiar with the elements of your house. If you own the house, or if you are planning to own the house, or even you don't own the house now, but sometime in the future you will definitely own the house. So these are the elements that you you, you need to know uh, when you own the house, right? And uh, the, I, I'm glad that he knows, and the the this, this, the, the clean out we were talking about is looks like this. Usually, every house has this. This is the vertical pipe connects to the sewer main. This is actually the access point for your sewer for your lateral. When there's a clog or something, the the plumber or sometimes if you are a Good handyman, you can do yourself too. Open this lid and flush the lateral. 
that can that can sometimes resolve the issue, right? So this is the structure I'm talking about. So if you after this meeting, if you are <laughs> curious enough, then you can go on your you know, backyard or front yard and look for this structure and identify this structure. Okay. And uh, so that's important. And uh, also, um, you know, silver is something that's is hidden, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, but you won't realize its importance until you face the problem. So please, you know, try to maintain and use the sewer system wisely. So later, it won't haunt you. Um, you know, so, so there are certain things that you can do to reduce those problems if not, you, you eliminate them, right? Like, uh, like you know, you know, we like to eat greasy food or you know, fried food. Or some of us also has this home business, home catering business, which can generate lots of fat and grease. And we don't, you know, knowingly or unknowingly, some people has a tendency to dump those grease directly in the sink. Right? And those things, fat, these are hydrophobic, it's a technical term, but it's more like they don't like to play with water. They want to always stay away from water. So what it does, it, it gets collected on the top of the CO main. And uh, eventually, you know, the fat gets, the amount of fat collection is so much that it can crawl in sewer. And in that instant, instance, like I told you, the responsibility of maintaining the sewer line up to the sewer main is yours. So if they then clog, it's your responsibility to, you know, unclog that sewer line. So it can be costlier, and also it's a sad, it's a sanitary sewage. It's unhygienic or unhealthy mm -hmm. or um, uh, unsanitary to handle, and also the nuisance you have to deal with when the sewer gets clogged, the drain gets clogged. So, you know, so that's why it's important, to, you know, not to drain those grease or it's called fog, it's fog is fat, oil and grease, you know. Just collect this separate container and store it somewhere and once it's filled, just dump it in the trash. You know, dump in the sewer line. That can, you know, Use your life. Um, and also, it can automatically go to the sewer main where the county or sewer maintains the sewer and it can be, you know, can be happy. And one, one is that. And also, there are so many problems you can enter in the sewer line. Uh, when I say sewer line, uh, it's the lateral of, of your house. Uh, you know, but what sewer main is the responsibility of the county or city or other utilities who has in the jurisdiction who has responsibility. But there are so many issues you can enter in the civil system. Um, they can be structural or operational. But structural I don't think it's under your control because that's because of the way it is uh, built uh, you know, like a crack in the civil or joint opposite or sag in the civil line. That's sometimes something that you cannot uh, control, but there are certain things like uh, there can be root in the civil line. If there is a tree around the sewer, then root can intrude through the joints of the sewer and you know, root likes water and wherever there's water, it follows it. And then once it gets in the sewer line, the root can, you know, go so much that it can clog the sewer, right? And then that instance too, you need to either hire a plumber to, 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 to cut the root out from there. Uh, so just be careful if there are any trees around, you know, uh, I don't, I, I'm not asking you to chop up the tree, but just, you know, make sure that it is not, you know, intruding to the sewer line. So I have some pictures here 
actually. Uh, this is the, can you identify this, what is here? This is the uh, fat. Yes, this is the fat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that was London. London. That's right. It was a uh, couple years ago. She reminded me that in the uh, London sewer system, it's in the sewer main. It's not the individual people's house line, and not the lateral. If they had an issue with clogging of the sewer, and they ultimately found the, the ball of fat completely covering clogging the sewer and they even named that the fat bird. Uh -huh. It was that big. And uh, so this is the this is the fat collecting in the sewer. Here it hasn't completely covered the sewer yet, but eventually it can completely cover it, it can completely block the flow of the sewers and that will back go into your basement, in your sink, in your bathroom. You know, that's it. What makes it worse is putting too much paper down. Yeah, and that too. So that gets yeah. stuck with the fat. Yeah, that's why I saw this too because they are frost, they are, they are this wipes, this label, washable wipes. These do not go by the label. These do not flush any washable wipes. Your, uh, this, uh, what do you call this? Denture, the, 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 the flush, any pads. Then any center, but please do not flush in the in the toilet. It will ultimately goes to the you know this mm -hmm. is this convent system. It, you know it, it has you know it, it can uh, convey certain stuff, but not not those kind of stuff. Right? And if it's already fat there, and then you flush those, it <coughs> can attract attract those stuff with fat, and you know it helps to build more. Um, you know, this clogs in the pipe, you know, and it will be the one ultimately suffer uh, from clogging the pipe first lateral, right? So, so that's one um, example of uh, fat in the sewer system. And this is this is a lateral too. But what is wrong with this lateral? Actually they they dug it up and removed this piece of lateral. This is this is a root in the sewer lateral. It got the blockage in the sewer, and they had um, they had to hire a plumber or do the CCTV and find out what's wrong with the the sewer line, and then they found there's a root blocking the flow. So they had up the pipe and replace the pipe. See, um, so just be careful when you, when you plant any new trees near your sewer lateral. <laughs> um, so, these are the stuff um, that I wanted to talk about. I don't know how much time did I do already. <coughs> Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Yeah. Okay. And these are all the this this picture shows what are what kind of defects you can you know expect in the sewer line like uh, this is a uh, you know um, crack the, the, the fat the root uh, the broken pipe the sand in the pipe and all those um, so just you know. I just wanted to uh, you know, share with you so you are familiar with your civil system and what you can expect, you know. And also, um, I don't know if any of you live in the city, like old town cities, where they have a combined sewer flow, where sanitary sewer and sewage and strong sewage flows in the same pipe. And during the heavy rain events, what happens is the, those pipes can overwhelm because it's collecting the storm water plus your sewage. So it cannot handle that flow and it needs to escape, right? Because the flow has to go somewhere and it comes back to your basement and your basement can that flow. 
right? So for that instance, there are some some programs that utilities or your city or county offers. It's called back for preventive program. And if you live in those areas, you can install those back for preventive wall in your lateral that you know they, and they have the subsidy program and you can buy first and get it reversed. They have a pretty person reimbursement program or I don't know, depends on where you live. You can check with them, check with your uh, service provider and you know if you have if you are dealing with those issues, uh, you can have this box installed in your And also one last thing, um, you know, if you have a pump, you see, if you have less than that, then most 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 of the time there would be a sump pump. And make sure where that sump pump is connected to, and also the roof drain, because they are just a there's a there's a big wall that doesn't need to go to your lateral because lateral is not sized to collect those flows. And when in the real event, if they are connected to your lateral, you know, it can overwhelm your lateral, it can handle, and it can backflow it into your basement or, or you know, on your backyard, you know, so just make, just be aware of those elements in your house, you know. So that's what I'm just trying to share with you today. Thank you. Um,